Diabetes has met its match. That is such good news, Dr. Markham. I just, is, I'm, ex I'm excited about that. We have some questions here from the heartwiseministries.org website, and we'd like to share those with you. And Dr. Markham, the first one is, what is the difference between type one and type two? Make sure yeah. we understand yeah. what we're dealing with here. Yeah. You know, we've talked about mo the majority of people have type two diabetes. We used to call that adult onset. Yeah. We also could rename it after this program, fat acquired diabetes. That's right, exactly. Fat acquired diabetes. Exactly. Um, and as Americans gain weight, we're gonna see more of it. Um, as our diets don't change, we're gonna see more of it and also the end organ damages. So that's type two. Type one is where we have these cells that make insulin that are destroyed. Remember in type two, we still make lots of insulin, yes, yes. but type, you know, type one, we don't make the insulin. So that's the real difference between type one. And unfortunately, the types ones usually have to take at least some insulin their entire life. Um, but you know, those type, of, those type of individuals can do well with insulin pumps to control their blood sugars. They learn how to eat well at an early age. Okay. But it's, it's really a devastating disease to have type one diabetes, as is type two. Um, so that's the real difference between type one and type two. Okay. But Charles, you know, one of the things I wanted to go over, this is very exciting, and, and I, I wish, I wish that we could make a commercial and put it on any of the broadcast networks, and the next time they have a commercial for one of these diabetic pills or, you know, gliburide or, or one of these medicines that are out there or what's ever out there, we could step on and say, you know what? You don't have to take <laughs> these medicines. You don't have to have these side effects. I like it. Here's a way you can change your chemistry. This is a way we can get back to the way God made us. Here, here, for more information, dial this number. And you know what? No side effects, it's free. Wouldn't that be cool? You just made that. That's a great commercial. Yeah, just was, play that on the air. Yeah, right great, great commercial. Because no good. one wants the medicines. They all have side effects. Not only, they, they cost side effects in the bottom, too, because they all cost money. Yes, absolutely. The bottom dollar. Let, let's talk about that. Yeah. What are some of the risks of taking medications for diabetes? And if diabetes is on the rise in this country, more and more people are taking it, and more and more people need to know what you're about to say. Yeah. Well, the real risk is having a side effect on the medications. And, you know, diabetes medicines lower blood sugar. That's what they do. Yeah. Insulin lowers blood sugar, and they work on different organ systems. So let me give you a hypothetical. Let's say, Charles, that, that you're on a medicine to lower blood sugar, and let's say you're in, you can't talk or you're in a nursing home or someplace like that. And let's say you get sick with a disease and you're not eating or drinking and you get dehydrated. Your kidney function gets worse the liver function gets worse, your metabolism changes, and yet someone keeps giving you that medicine. You're not really eating or drinking, and then no one's really keeping an eye on your blood sugar. You gave an example of this. Yeah, this your blood sugar will go down to 20 or 30, yeah. and you go into coma, you could actually die from this, yes. okay? Um, so, so taking too much blood sugar, we always see people having low blood sugar. And the first responders, you know, if they're on any diabetic medicine at all, the very first thing they want to do is you're going to check a blood sugar. Because right. when you don't have blood sugar, nothing works well. Your brain doesn't work well. Your heart doesn't work well. Blood sugar is very important because it helps our, our body have energy. So blood sugar is a key. And a lot of the neurologic symptoms happen. You know, you in a brain fog when your blood sugar goes too low, brain sugar when it goes too high. I talk to people about the basics of good health, you know, hydration, getting enough rest, you know. We, when we come into IV, I put oxygen on you, put an IV in you, check your blood sugar. If you don't have blood sugar, I'm gonna pump some in you. Yes. Make sure you have blood in you too, check your, you know. So we do a lot of these things that make common sense. But if your blood, if you take a lot of these medications and they're not monitored closely, I have some people that, that you know, you write, a, you see them on these medicines and you say, well, listen, you have type two diabetes and you're taking this, do you ever monitor your blood sugar? No. Mm. So they might mm. be taking it and it still might not be accomplishing their goal. They get no benefit. Yeah. And yet they take the risk. And some of these medicines have other side effects. Some of the diabetic medicines have been shown to increase the risk of heart attacks. Um, the sulfonylureas have been shown that. Some of them increase the risk of lactic acidosis, which is another thing that's not good. But the one thing that I see a lot of patients is they, they, they have type two diabetes and they go in and their doctor puts them on a medicine to make the number better. Okay, um, but it makes them hungry. Hmm. They eat more and they gain more weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really solve the problem. A cycle going so, so they never get at the cause of the problem. And if yet, a lot of people, if you said, listen, do you want to cure this or do you want to just sort of keep the blood sugar at a level? If you put it that way, they say, listen, I want to cure this. Yeah. And you say, well, here's the plan. Do you want to do the plan? We can take it slow, but do you want to do the plan? And I've, I've read some literature. I, I'm normally a cardiologist, so I don't treat a lot of diabetics, but I've reviewed some of the 
material that Dr. Um, out in California, Dr. McDougall's done. Yes. And he's cured a lot of people with changing chemistry this way. And remember, this changes a chemistry just like a medicine is, except it's, it's a, a little different mindset. Yeah. So we're changing our chemistry by the food we eat. We're changing our insides and the metabolism. Then all of a sudden what we see when we get the fat out of our cells, then the glucose can move in it better. We have a normal glucose metabolism. The body sort of gets back to the way it was designed and fixes itself. So we don't have all these end organ damage. Internal healing with yeah. external changes. Excellent. I like that. So prolonged exposure. Don't forget it. Charles, when you leave here, I want you to remember prolonged exposure to fat is the problem we have with diabetes. All right. Very good. Here's another question from heartwiseministries.org. This is, this is important. Okay. Let's say that someone is, is watching the program right now and says, I believe what Dr. Markham is saying, and I'm going I'm to switch over to that whole food plant-based diet, and I'm not going to take my medications anymore. Good advice, bad advice? Well, it's according. You know, it's according. If you're, if you're, you need to be monitored whenever you come on or off a of medication. Okay. You need to be monitored. And, you know, and unfortunately, I've seen some physicians that you go to and you tell them this, and they might not be as educated as you are. You know, I was trained this way. They might not see it the same way. So you, yeah. sometimes you have to bring them data. Say, listen, can, can I try this? You know, can, can I check my blood sugar at home? And if it does really good, can I skip it today and see if it does good? Remember, these changes take a while. But it only makes sense if you can lower your blood sugar with natural insulin, which you get from walking, removing the fat from the body so the, you know, the, everything gets in the cells better, it only makes sense that you could, should be able to come off the medicines nice and slow, but you, I would do this with a doctor following you um, that puts you on those medicines. But this is a great way to go. But, and I've seen some medical professionals, they don't want to hear this. You know? That's what I yeah. wanted to ask oh, you. Oh yeah, I see that all the time. I don't want to hear this. You have to stay on your medicine. I wrote it. Yeah, yeah. And I say, it's time to find a new doctor. Really? Yes. I mean, that's, that's just... Well, if they won't work with you to reverse this, yeah. you know, and we willing to take you off the medicine, would you stay with that doctor? This, this is scary because yeah. sometimes these doctors are, are friends of ours. Yes, We've and been bless with them their forever. hearts. And sometimes they just don't know everything. Yeah. They don't know better. And I was practicing that way at one time, Charles. I was brought through the traditional medical system, went to medical school at the University of Texas and did cardiology at the University of Kentucky, did internal medicine at the Medical Center of Delaware. And I was taught to treat symptoms. I was taught about these medicines. I wasn't taught a lot about nutrition. I wasn't taught about the way the brain works. I wasn't plugged into the ultimate prescription. They didn't have this class in medical school, in my medical school, where it says, you know, the Word of God is the ultimate treatment that you need to do. And that's what I'm trying to get in our vernacular. And I'm letting it let other doctors know it's okay to practice this way. Yeah. You know, you, you, you might ha take a few knocks, and I take knocks every day yes, when I take people off medicine. But I try to counter that. But, you know, we have science behind us that proves you can change your chemistry this way. Just do it for a while, and let's test you. Let's do this for a while, and you know, let's, let's have evidence. You know, let's check your blood sugar. Let's see if you don't feel better in a month after eating this way and living this way. And, and, you know, that's what Daniel did back in Daniel. Daniel goes, let me test you, yeah, king. Yeah. You know, let me see if this way is not the best way. And he did. And guess what? God's way was right. And that's the way it's going to be every single time. So I say, well, let's listen, let's not go in this blindly. Let's prove it with science. So that's what the way I approach with my doctor. Okay. Let me show you that I can bring my blood sugar down um, naturally. You want us to be brave when we go see our doctor. Well, you know, you're your best doctor, Charles. Who's a better physician than you than the yourself? The doctor's not going to agree with that. He's going to say, I went to school. I learned these things. You need to be on these medications. How dare you come into my office and tell me? And I've heard doctors say yeah, those words. But you know words. what? I see myself as more of a, a treater of symptoms, a treater of symptoms. Um, we are our best own physicians, you know, physician heal yourself, you know, we heard these, but, but you know, you're responsible for your own body to learn as much as you can to take care of yourself, to prevent these chronic diseases. You are a steward. You are given this body. You're, this is a loner, Charles. Yes. You know, it, you know, like you're, you're, you're supposed to, you know, you, you know, all this stuff, we're stewards of our body. We're responsible for ourselves. Your doctor's not responsible for you. He's not going to be the one that ultimately stands and says, this is what I did with my body. You are. You're responsible for learning. You're responsible for finding the healthcare professionals that follow your philosophy. Now, there might not be many out there, but most of them are willing to work with you if you explain, if you give them some scientific evidence behind it. Most doctors want to take you off medications. If you're willing to step up and say, listen, I'm willing to exercise every day. I'm willing to eat better. I'm willing to do something to reverse type 2 diabetes. Are you willing to take me off a medication? 
and if they see results, you're losing weight, I don't know any doctor that won't at least work with you. All right, very good advice. You know, that goes right along with something you and I have talked about on other programs, especially on your radio program. Uh, that is, when you, when you watch programs like this, when you go on the internet, when you, when you read the scientific literature coming out, when you read the newspaper and the magazines, the latest and greatest comes out and says, this is the answer for the problem that you're, you're suffering. This is the answer over here. Do this, eat this, take this. How do we judge? A person with diabetes, how, how does a person judge what to do, what will work and what won't work? How do you judge when you are receiving this information from, from the pharmaceutical companies, when you are receiving this information from different uh, entities around, how do you make a determination of what you want to put in your body and what medicines you want to use? Yeah, I go back and I use the textbook, does it work with the Bible? Does it make biblical sense? Mm -hmm. Does it jive with what the Bible teaches? And if someone says, you know, you have to have a treatment where you stay up all night, that doesn't jive with the biblical treatment, does it? If it I mean, says, nowhere in the Bible is going to say, no, don't take Coumadin. No. But it's going to say no. in the Bible, drink water. Right, exactly. Both in your blood. And in some of these conditions, you have to look at the body of evidence, randomized trials, yeah. okay? And, you know, but we have to also realize that medicines usually just treat symptoms. They don't fix causes. True. And, and for acute care, I think medicine's great. For, for chronic care, it's not. So it's a, it's a growing learning process that's continuing going. And I don't say that I have all the answers. I admit, I don't know everything. I'm constantly in a state of learning, try to keep a balanced approach, but I also have learned in time that the mind is involved involved in all of this. And if you're happy about it and you have God working in your life through the Holy Spirit, you know, even if you don't do everything perfect or learn everything, or you're going to be heading in the right direction. And that's why this ultimate prescription, this relationship is so important because I know I can't do everything right. You know, there's always going to be something that's there's probably going to hurt me that I might not even know about. Um, but but I'm, I'm always in that relationship trying to learn, willing to let God work with me um, in any way he might choose to. Isn't now, it? You, know, I, good news. you know, I never thought years ago, Charles, you know, when I was practicing medicine, that I would ever do health programs. You know, I'm not an orator. I never thought I'd write a book or do these kind of things. But as God impresses you and works with you, He gives you the power to do things you can't do. Well, that same principle applies to your health. You don't think you can do these things, but you can. God can let, do anything He wants with you. If, as you learn about Him and walk in His will, the, the, the potential is unlimited. And as the world continues to get sicker, He's going to call more and more people people to be messengers of, of, all, of all the good things He wants us to do for us. That is good news. <laughs> that is yeah, wonderful news. Good news. We'll take a short break and when we come back let's talk to that, uh, that great physician up there and let's thank him for the blessings he has in store for everyone who is watching this program today. So stay tuned. Let's make an appointment and talk to the great physician. Let's bow our heads together. Father God, thank you for being interested in our health care and being our great physician to lead us to all truth. And thank you for healing us this day, Father. We pray for your love and peace in our lives. And thank you for helping us to reverse type 2 diabetes is our prayer. Amen. <music> 